Okay. I'll call the meeting to order at uh, 6.01 p.m. Uh, we're going to take a look at the minutes from September 13th, if you would. Cindy, I have one correction. You still kept Larry's name in the latest copy. He oh, wasn't... yeah. you're right. I did. Yeah. Okay, I'll fix that right now and correct that. And I'm assuming that the uh, different color ink is the stuff that Brad wanted you to change. Yes, yeah, so that's why okay. I put it in blue so that it would highlight that yep. those were the changes. Okay. Has everybody had a chance to look? Yes. Does anybody have any comments or questions? Errors, omissions, deletions? If not, I would like to call for a vote if someone would move to accept the minutes. Jim, we can't hear you. Can't hear you. No, can't hear you, Jim. Right. No, still muted. Muted it. There you go. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so Jim moved, and is there a second? I'll second. Okay. On those in favor, Robert? Aye. Jim? Aye. Deborah? Aye. And I will also vote in the affirmative to make it a quorum. Okay. So the minutes are done. Jim, financials. Okay. I, I'm assuming everybody got the spreadsheet that I sent out at midday today. Yes. yes. Thank you. Town accountant was a little delayed in getting this information to me. Therefore, I was delayed in getting it to you guys. Um, That's because Monday was a holiday and she wasn't in the office. Mm. Well, at any rate, um, there's just one uh, one comment I wanted to make on the municipal budget, um, and that is that typically in the during the first quarter of each fiscal year, there are some slight adjustments made by the town accountant, um, and we need to make those corrections. So it appeared that our total municipal budget was increased by $1,388. So not knowing where that should go, I just put other. And as long as that number doesn't change next month, we'll allocate that back to one of the line items, probably uh, electricity or one of those things. Um, but this happens frequently. It happened last year. It's going to happen again this year. It'll happen again next year. So... Um, the the other the other thing I wanted to point out is I usually present the uh, line the um, special revenue accounts and they again are not ready. She has not finished posting FY twenty three, so I can't give you that information either. Okay, okay. Jim, I have a question. Um, I, I've asked this before, but the difference in the library director between August. And September is kind of enormous. What what yeah. accounts for that? Well, what happens is that if um, it just depends on what week of the month that the part the, the the warrant was processed. Okay. And sometimes okay. it gets doubled up from one month to the next. Okay. We had three pay periods in August. Yeah. Ah, okay. All right, that's why. So it 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 should have actually been closer to the July number in both August yeah, and yeah. September. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's all. I just I thought maybe we gave Cindy another raise and I didn't know about no. it. <laughs> no. That was a joke, Cindy. I know, I know. Yeah. That's okay. I know and I appreciate it. Yep. Okay. Does anybody have any questions for Jim on the financial report? No. Okay, if not, we'll move on to the director's report. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, did everyone have a chance to go over my director's report? Does anyone have any questions about anything? Yes. No, I'm 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 interested to know, Cindy, though, if you get any people coming in to ban some books. I'm glad somebody's keeping an eye on that. So far, knock on wood, no. Okay. That's that's what I was Googling um before I came on. Um, Bob, you consistently ask this question, and I consistently ask myself the same question. Is it illegal for someone to record you against your permission? And a quick search online 
um, I think California is one of the only states that it is illegal. They have to get your consent. In so, Massachusetts, we, if you don't want to be recorded, we have to, um, and the unfortunate part of that is if they're in their recording and you don't want to be recorded and it's a public space, we have to ask you to leave. Okay. And invite or, you to come back later. Or move or something, right? Or move, move somewhere, right. But we can't, we can't like say, okay, come in here and work in our office because then we're inviting you, a patron, a member of the public, into space that has been dedicated as staff only beyond this point. So that wouldn't make, that would create a whole nother can of worms. Okay. Um, is there any fallout from this? This visit by accountability for all. We Has have not anything to his YouTube. We have not seen anyone from accountability for all in Waitley yet. Um, the fallout that I know of is that the entire uh, municipal employees for the town of Orange now have to go under have specialized training about First Amendment audits and how to properly handle them and what's legal and what's not legal. So I'm hoping that since Kim was featured in the Greenfield video and that she did such a really good job in Greenfield that they're not going to want to come to Wheatley. But that doesn't mean that they won't at some point. Yeah. Our Kimber? Our Kimber, yes. Oh, okay. All right. I guess I just sometimes don't get that. Yes. Our okay. And how, how, how do you feel about your training? I feel really there? good. Ryan and I actually had a conversation as well, and he gave me a few suggestions of how to, you know, if the situation comes up, how to also appropriately handle it so that no, you know, like I don't end up in tears or anything or end up, you know, before the select board as to why was I this way if I'm a town employee. Okay. Good. So. I, I think that was wise to be proactive and reach out to him. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I any other questions, thoughts, comments? Circulation still looks good. Circulation looks really good. I'm very happy. Our patrons have come back and they're checking out books and other library items. Good. Do, does does anybody still moves. check out the telescope or anything like that? It's being repaired right now. So as soon as it's done being repaired, it will be available for checkout again. Did someone drop, drop it or something? One of the lenses got cracked and it's beyond oh. my capability or any of my staff's capability to be able to repair it. So the Aldrich Astronomical Society has, is taking care of it for us. Okay. Bob, you wanted to ask something? Well, I wanted to make two comments. Well, one comment really. Um, that's August numbers with the library being closed for an entire week. Yes. Right. Right. Yep. So I, I think those numbers, you know, the, the, I guess maybe that's the only, so does this get recorded? This doesn't get, Cindy, do your reports? Every year I have, every year when I fill out our errors report, I have to, total for the entire fiscal year from July 1st to June 30th, the total number of visits that we've had. So doing it this way is actually very helpful for me because then I can just pull out my previous director's reports and just add everything up. That, that would be the only comment I have on this is potentially an asterisk next to the 770 and at the bottom a footnote that says we were closed. a note that says the library was closed for one whole week of that month just so it it triggers in your mind and our mind in the future. Okay, I can. That's a very good that. idea. Thanks, Bob. Anybody else? Any other comments for Cindy? If not, we will move on. Um, Cindy, what do you say about um, your office blinds? Any word? Oh, they they were installed yesterday, and they're wonderful. Oh, and I'm excellent. just waiting for the invoice to come from Eric. I asked him to invoice me. So okay. that's the final piece that we need to close out that part of it, everything. Right. Do you, Remind me, where are we paying? 
I, I was just going to take that out of this year's maintenance because we didn't have enough to encumber yeah. over from last okay. year. Okay. And by the way, while I'm on the subject of, of money, I went into our uh, account in the Duda fund and we're, we're, we're up to $195,000 again. We're just, Good. that's, that's $5,000 short of where we started and we have spent somewhere in the neighborhood of 90,000. So that good. money is being invested very, very well. That's good. 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 Yep. Yep. Cindy, is there uh, any way to get that uh, Euro um, enhancer for our, for our Wi-Fi uh, in, right in that windowsill? I'm hoping of... that once we get the new outlets installed, um, so I'll just segue into that, that Mark Bussier came in yesterday. I gave him a key so that he can come in and work when we're not there and a member of the board doesn't have to meet him there. And I showed him where I would like some of the outlets to be in the office. And I asked for one to be put right next to the window so the shredder can be plugged into it and the Eero can get plugged into it so that it can be in the window from the office. Yeah. Okay. Because that, gives, that gives coverage out in the front of the, uh, of right. the building. Yep. Yeah. And so okay. he also found two ungrounded plugs in the hall, upstairs in the vestibule and downstairs in the hall. And so he's just going to take care of those while he's there doing everything else. Okay. Um, and I did, yeah, I did have discussions with, uh, we, well, we can just jump to the electrical upgrade. I did have a uh, couple of conversations with Fred and things are proceeding apace. Apparently, um, Boussier was able to find uh, um lights that uh, resemble the ones that are in there now, but have a larger base so that when the old ones are removed, the new base will cover actually a greater area. So there won't be any need to paint. Oh, um, so that, that should be, that should be all taken care of. And um, uh, we are under the not to exceed figure. So um, things are proceeding. Uh, and uh, I think that Boussier, We'll be there soon. Um, yes. To do the work. Okay. And while we're thank on you for coordinating that, Cindy. I appreciate. Oh, you're that. welcome. And while we're on the subject of electrical work, is there any way that we can have the existing lights and bulbs that are there now declared surplus property, so that Mark can take them and properly recycle them for us, so they don't end up stuck in the basement for eternity? That's a good idea. Would someone uh, like to move that, that we declare those uh, once they're removed to be surplus property uh, to be disposed of by the electrician? Mm -hmm. Someone move okay. that, please? I'll move. Okay. And is there a second? I'll second. Is there any discussion about that? Yes, let's just get them properly recycled. Yes, uh, please. A, a vote then, Bob? Aye. Jim? Aye. Deborah. Okay, and I vote I as well. Jim, did you have another question that you wanted to ask before we move on? Jim? Yeah, I just wanted to point out that we still have some old light bulbs in the uh, in the utility room that should probably go as well. I was going to include those as part of the light okay. bulbs okay. for recycling. Very good. Okay. Um, and so yep. then moving on, it's just mostly housekeeping matters. I went through and looked on the website and noticed that there were some missing meeting minutes from 2021 and 2022. So I went ahead and forwarded the missing meeting minutes to Jessica um, to post on the website so that we're all up to date on all of our meeting minutes because now is not the time to be having missing public records. Okay, and uh, that was uh, partly inspired by um, we. There was a letter that was received by several boards about um, the availability of our videotaped. Yes. Minutes. Yes. <laughs> However, um, interestingly enough, Cindy did her research and discovered that the it law is does not, not. It is not required that those video be posted anywhere. Nope, it's a, we as the great leader doing it as a service to our residents. We're meeting the requirements. We're offering hybrid meetings. We're offering meetings by Zoom so they're available for the public to attend. 
I forwarded it. I gave Jessica the information she needed. So it's now in FCAT's court. How quickly are these meeting minutes going to be posted? Because it's up to FCAT to put them on their channel. Yep. Okay. So we are we are complying with the law with open meeting laws. So I just wanted everybody to to relax. We are we're good. Um, because as soon as I got that letter, <laughs> I called Cindy. Um, uh, are, are you referring to the email we got today, Bob, from Dan? Yes. I, yes. I just yes, because I was it. on I that too. Yeah. yeah um, that's good to know. I'm yeah, and uh, also I don't know if you saw, but the response from Darius Modesto was I thought stellar because included in that was that the school committee doesn't post. Well, the school committee doesn't even use Zoom; it uses Google Meet, I think, and. Mm -hmm. Um, so if you want to know what's going on, I guess you attend on Zoom the night of the meeting right. and then eventually somewhere these all appear because the town has has posted them all over the place. But we've, we're catching up on all the minutes being on record and we're catching up uh, and we're, we're okay with the video that keeps going. Cindy has looked and found our videos. Um, they're there. So they're yeah. available. It's just a matter of, you know, I guess it's it's on the uh, on the person who's looking for them to to do the search to to find them online. Okay, the stairs. I don't think there's anything else about the stairs. I think we're good on that. We're done. No. Yes, Bob. Bob, go ahead. There's one more item on the stairs. Um, so remember, I had spoken about the uh, sealer for the stairs. Yes, and that was donated. Um, that was actually donated by J.D. Ross. So oh, cool. he's he is donating the sealer. Um, and Jim, depending on how you're feeling or uh, timing next week, I will either reach out to you or more likely J.D. And he and I will get the front stairs sealed. Good. Cindy, we will we will work around your the library schedule. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Great. And I, I don't think it's going to take very long. I don't think there's any special consideration once we're beyond the 30 day cure time. Does okay. what you're applying now, does that have to cure as well and like need dry time? Dry time would be less than an hour. Oh, so like if you did it on a Tuesday or Wednesday morning before we opened at one, it would be totally fine. That's that's currently the plan. Okay. Okay. Um, window painting. The last, uh, I heard Bob Hollis said he was going to get to it. In the I first have couple. not yes. seen him at all I know. at the library. I know. I know. Well, he, he, it's on his list of things to do and I will, I'll send him another um, text message um, or run into him at uh, Muffins and, and pursue him because pretty soon it's going to be November. And yeah, we won't be able to do any painting. Okay. Um, and then, oh, go ahead, Bob. No, finish up. I was, I did follow up after our last meeting with Greenfield Glass, and they emailed me the final invoice, and it was submitted, and that was for $2,107. So there we had a $786 left over from the fire door replacement. Good. Well done, Jim. Well done. Good. Okay. All right. Anything else? We then move on to update on our five-year plan revisions. Cindy, where are we on that? I am going to a strategic planning workshop on the 31st in Northampton. So I'm hoping to come to the November meeting full of ideas. Okay. That sounds like a plan to me. Um, Jim, you'll be happy to hear that our plan is that we're going to, we're going to do a stripped down version of that. <laughs> Maybe we're not going to do an 80 page version again. Okay. It does not need to be 80 pages. Yeah, that's that's why we're not going to do 80 pages. <laughs> and I think we're going to I think we're going to have to lift quite a bit from the other one anyway, because <laughs> COVID made a lot of of the plans, uh, you know, next to impossible. Yeah. OK. All right. So uh, maintenance committee, you got anything that you want to report, Bob? Uh. I guess the only thing is we've already talked about the stairs and getting them sealed. Uh, we will work around Cindy's schedule on that. Um, I will, once I'm back, I will work uh, on getting the old doors out of, uh, from the closets in the bathroom since oh, they were declared surplus. 
So I'll check with Wayne and just other people in the town and see if anybody, I mean, where do, where do I go? I, I don't know. Who do I check with? No, for where to, for where they should go? Yeah. Not Wayne, Keith Bardwell. I mean, yeah. Check with Keith. Keith will know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to um, keep the one closer. Yeah. Which will help us on that, the Duda room door. When we eventually get around to that, Bob, Bob Klinger, just a suggestion. Um, I wouldn't bother trying to salvage a closure. Those things are 72 years old and they're not expensive. I just, when we decide to put closures on the two doors downstairs, just buy new ones. Buy new ones? Yeah. Yeah. Good point. Good point. Because we're going to get that one off that door and it's not going to work. And then what are we going to do? Yeah. Okay. okay. Right. I have a question about doors and closures. Do the doors upstairs need closures on them? I think hmm. if they would have needed closers for the fire alarm, they would have put them on like they did on those two. If you walk yeah. downstairs into the Duda room, as you're walking into the Duda room, there's magnets on either side, on the left and right. Up yeah, on the wall. we have those upstairs, but we don't have anything on the actual door itself to make them shut. Okay, let me, I get back this weekend, I'll come and take a look. I just happened to notice that yesterday, and I was just wondering okay. if we needed closures okay. on those too. Okay. Okay, very good. Is there any other old business that you'd like to discuss? I if have not, not heard. Oh, what? Sorry. Go right ahead. I have not heard back from the Mason on scheduling of the exterior coding. Okay. I had asked him to get back to me on that. I have a feeling he's running out of daylight for the fall. Yeah. Do we um, figure out how we're going to pay for that? Or no, I'm sorry. Not the sealer. Excuse me. Right, right. I misspoke. Right. Thank you. Not the sealer. I got back to him and asked him about scheduling for the chimney and the brickwork around there. And I have not heard back from him. Okay. Sorry, it's been it, it the last week and a half have been a little crazy making. Okay. So okay. Bob, I really appreciate all the long distance work that you do for us. That's okay. I'm happy to help. I just keep me honest and make sure I don't misspeak. Okay. All right. We're moving on to new business. Um, Cindy, you have a couple of requests from the friends. Yes. So first up, our Eric Carl pass has expired. So I was hoping to be able to use, I believe it's $75 of that funds to pay for our Eric Carl Museum pass, which is very popular and does circulate a lot. And it could have circulated this past weekend had it not expired. Yes. Um. So actually, what is our, our membership is as an organization, so it's actually, I'm, I'm sorry, I misspoke. I believe it's $150 because we are considered an organization. Okay. And that covers a year's membership. And what it does is it allows two adults and four children. And they can okay. go spend the whole day at the museum. Do you, uh, I, I suppose we, we must take a vote because the last time that we tapped into this fund, Dara, um, I had to send, she emailed me and I had to send her an email confirmation that this was okay. So if this, if I can just get a vote from you to um, buy the Eric Carl passes with the money from, uh, that was um, put in that special account by, from, by the former friends. Is there a motion, such a motion? Uh, I will make a motion. Okay, we have a, a motion. Is there a second? And I will second it. Okay, and do you want to dis did you want to say something, Jim? No, no. Okay. Okay. Is there any discussion about that? I think the Eric Carl passes are a great idea. All right. All those in favor, Bob? Aye. Jim? J uh, yes. Deborah? Yes. And I vote yes. Okay. And then there was a second one, Cindy. That one can wait because it's still a little ways off and I'm waiting to find out how much cultural council funding they'll receive before I ask for okay. funds. So we okay. can hold yeah. off on that one. Those ones. I, yeah, I, I have heard 
from several sources that the, the reconstituted friends are um, are not doing well as a group. Um, Cindy, you said that it was just you and Sheila? At the, the book sale, okay. the Sunday of the book sale, Saturday, Metta and Jonathan came and helped us set up and Mark came and helped. And then Sunday, to do the actual manning and selling at the book sale, it was Sheila and myself um, there for the whole day. And it was not as successful as, as it has been in past years. Um, so Cindy is not going to do even think about entertaining the idea of having another book sale until 2025. Okay, it's it's something when people talk in the third person about themselves. So I'm sorry. Um, no, that's okay. It's just it that indicates a certain strength of of um, what you're trying to say. Okay. <laughs> The only um, positive of the book still was I got to reconnect with my cousin whom I have not seen in 40 years. Wow. wow. That's worth something. Wow. Yeah. Very so that good. was a positive of that. <clears throat> okay. Um, Cindy, now you you have, um, the second item I had there was timeline for maintenance projects. Um, we're not going to have to close for any of the electrical upgrade, correct? I am not sure about that because okay. when Mark and I were going around during the tour, he asked if it was okay to block off the bathrooms for when they were going in there to do their electrical work. And I said, well, I'm kind of hoping you can do most of it on Thursday and Friday when we're closed. If not, please let me know and give me enough notice ahead of time so we can coordinate that. Yeah, you can't, we can't have the library open and not have bathrooms accessible. Right. Cindy, so, is it, Cindy would it be possible, did you talk to Mark, and I don't know if this is possible or not, but would it be possible for him to do one bathroom and then the other? That's what I was thinking today, and that's what I was going to ask him, if maybe start and get the big bathroom, the small bathroom done first, that way we at least have the small, or get the the big bathroom done first, that way it's accessible for everyone. And then we can work around and then he can block off and work in the other little bathroom. Right. right. But if he if he if he blocks off the accessible bathroom, then we, we can't have we the have public to be there. closed. We have to be closed. Is it even po is would it be possible for him to stage everything? That's true. If he if we block off the accessible, we have to be Never mind. Unless he does it on Thursday and Friday, in which case we're closed. We don't have to worry. Which that would work. Would for mm -hmm. me too. And he's aware. He's aware that we're closed on Thursday and Friday. Yes, I let him know okay. we were closed on Thursdays and Fridays. Um, so he knows that that would be good days to like be doing the noisiest parts of the projects and. Okay. So. All right. Um. So. Um, you'll let us know, uh, and as soon as I hear from Mark, I will send out an email letting everyone know what the timeline is and what we can expect, and okay, hopefully have at least two weeks notice if we do have to shut down that we have to shut down. Okay, okay, very good. All right, Bob, I put pl planning for Library Giving Day on there. Um, did you want to say anything at this point? Uh, it I don't, I don't know what to say. Um, I would be happy to work with um, the friends group as much as possible. Uh, I reached out to Sheila. She was very excited to hear. Um, I'm happy to work with them. I have one caveat with my schedule. Um, right now, barring something unforeseen happening in Colorado and me being out here, I plan on being in Texas for the big eclipse the beginning of April. And I believe that's when giving day is. Yeah. Isn't it April okay. 3rd or April? But if, yeah, uh, but, but if, if the friends are coordinating and they're, uh, uh, we're going to be electronically, they're going to be electronically getting the money in um, using their um, tax exempt status or whatever. Exactly. You won't I need to be involved. Yeah, I talked to Sheila about that, and and I, I she sounded like she was on top of it. Um, I'm happy to talk to the town about some of the sandwich boards. I'm happy to talk to the town. Would it be appropriate because they have that big board 
that says don't forget to vote elections the electronic one that you see yeah i'm mm -hmm. happy to see if what's possible could we get that and set that up um i don't know it just try okay. to gin up a lot of support okay uh, have conversations with them about what might be possible i'm happy to do all that um I, it, this goes back to the problem we had last year we can push a little bit but it really has to be pulled through by the friends right right so then, what oh yeah. go ahead bob well it, so yeah go ahead they're the only ones who can accept the money right and so at Larry, uh, Sheila has been in touch with Larry Kuttner, who is willing to work with them on creating a PayPal account so that a Donate Now button can be set up on the library's website, and you just push and you can donate. And so it's just a matter of Larry and Sheila coordinating and getting that information together and then getting the information to me so that I can get it up onto the website on top. Okay. Terrific. Okay. I may reach out to not may. I'll probably just reach out to Sheila over the phone call next week. Okay. Okay. Because things only get crazier for me, as crazy as they are now. All right. Um. All right. Then we move to other. I have another. Cindy, is there any word on a, a tree lighting? Because I don't November. Believe that is going to happen this year. No. Wow. I can possibly pull something together. I also, this would not be a friends event. This would be a library event. We never got to do anything in December of 2020 to celebrate the 70th anniversary of the library. So this year I would like to have an open house and also combine it as an open house dedication, make an official dedication of the Enamon Kane Children's Room. And we could light the tree. And yes. we could light the tree. Because that's, I think, something that uh, that townspeople look forward to. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so I'll, I'll chat with you about that. We can. Sounds um, good. And have something for the November meeting to talk about. To, Is okay. there any, yeah, any other new business? I don't know if it's new business, but I've been updating our building book because of staff changes and trustee changes. And I noticed that some of the names that we have on our contact list, I don't think we use them anymore. Um, Tom Dwight, I don't think he's ever come to do gutter repairs while I've been here. Mm -hmm. um, hometown painting, I don't know when the last time they were used because the last few times that we've had painting projects, we've had Roger donate his time. And then we have Paul Lentz down as a Mason, but our most recent Mason was Rich is Rich Cooper. Well, how about how about if you um, search through that and create an appendix and label that like uh, former contacts, just in case somewhere down the road we might need that. You can remove them from the active file and put them into a sort of um, archive. Okay. A, can... Yeah, take your time and because I mean, there's no. That's a that's a um, a living document for us to use right. as you especially. Right. So you can take you don't have to do that all tomorrow. You can um, simply take your time. If and, I have and an extra five out. minutes somewhere sure. and want something great. to do, I think okay, that's a great I idea. Will, I will go okay. ahead and do that then because I wasn't sure what to do, which is why I asked. Well, I'm a pack rat. I save everything. Just go down in my cellar, and you'll know that my entire teaching career is in boxes down there. It's about to end up in a dumpster because I don't even know why I brought it home. Have you thought about scanning everything and putting it on a cloud? Nope. Ain't going to do that. <laughs> um, okay. Any other new business? Okay. Let's just take a look at the date uh, for the next meeting. The second Wednesday is actually the 8th, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um. Is the eighth okay? Okay with me. Okay, yeah. so we'll we'll post it for November eighth at six p.m. Oh, actually. Oh. No, Wednesday. Yes, yes, it is. Yep. It is the eighth. Okay. Yeah, okay. You, you and I talked, Bob. I I'm not even going to try. Right. Well, um, 
well, I hope uh, Fred, Fred is on the road, which is why he couldn't um, be here tonight. And George had a family emergency. So oh, uh, no. I, I, I don't know of what, what kind. Um, so um, we should be okay. As long as we have four, we're good to go. All right, that does it for tonight. So I need a motion to adjourn. By the way, it's 636, want that noted. <laughs> it will be noted in our meeting minutes that we adjourned at 636. Okay, is there a motion to adjourn? I make the motion. Is there a second? I'll second. And I'm certain that I don't need a roll call for this. Good night, everyone. Have a Good lovely night, Halloween. Thank, Thank you. you. All.